there, welcome to Odinit. It's a cool little trick, but uh, yeah, I don't uh, necessarily know how useful this would be, but hey, go for it. Let's say I can void your warranty from the JavaScript API. So I've got my basic uh, 3x map, and eh, nothing special. You know, I'm just zooming in, panning around, blah, blah, blah. No big deal, nobody cares. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tweak this a little bit. Let's say I've got a 4x app and I still need all of my 3x capabilities because 4x can't quite do it yet. But maybe I want to bring some 4x stuff into my application. So I can load the 4x API. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the uh, 4x CSS files. Then what I need to do is I need to add another uh, script tag in here so I can update my dojo config to do some funky stuff. So 3x, uh, you want to set async true uh, pretty much all the time for your uh, 3x configurations for your dojo config. And we're going to create a new package. So I create a package. I'm going to call it uh, Esri4. And I'm going to go ahead and point Esri4 to the CDN version of the JavaScript API for 4x. Right? Cool little trick you have to do here. And I learned this one uh, from Dasa Paddock recently. Uh, found this for me. Uh, basically, you have to set this has feature or else it's going to try to load the locale files for views and stuff like that, which won't uh, the same won't work when, if you don't have this uh, this bit right here. All right, awesome. So let's just run our app real quick, make sure everything's still working. It works. Let me close this console a little bit more here. Okay, that's all fine and dandy. Now, if you look at my div here, I've got a view div in here. So let's go ahead. Let's open up some JavaScript. And I am going to go ahead and start getting silly now. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and start bringing in some Esri 4 features. We'll run it again just to make sure that no errors pop up. So I'm bringing in the 3x map, which is here, and I call it map 3. And I'm bringing in the 4x map, which is here, bringing it map 4, referencing it as Esri 4 slash map. The same for my scene view. I'm going to reference it as Esri 4 views scene view, right? Okay, good. No errors in my console. Nothing's breaking so far. This is a good sign, people. Good sign. So let's go ahead and let's bring in some 4X stuff here to show a 3D map. Let's go ahead and run this. Again, I'm just creating a new instance, map 4. And bam, look at that. We've got a 4X map sitting right alongside our 3X application. Okay, that's really cool. Um, but let's go ahead and let's make these talk to each other. Let's do a little bit of a communication back and forth. So how can I do that? Let's go ahead and watch for the extent to change on my 3x map. When that extent changes, I'm going to convert the extent to JSON. This is key here. Convert the extent to JSON and then pass it to the view extent. The JSON is just looks like an extent and view.extent is going to autocast it to an extent, right? So there's my 3x map. Let's make that tilted just so you can see it. Now as I pan my uh, 3x map around, we're going to go ahead and update the extent for our 3x map. And you can do all kinds of cool communication between the two maps uh, to sync them up and everything. It gets pretty cool. See, we're in Dallas. We got Dallas. Oh, everything's looking good. So that's how you can load a 4x map into your 3x application and have them live side by side. Um, reason I say this is kind of no, uh, something you may not want to do is that as soon as you start referencing the um, Esri 4 layer here uh, to the CDN, you're bypassing the init.js file, which has all the, the Dojo loader and stuff and everything else built in there. So you're going to be calling all the individual files at this point. Now we kind of look out because things like scene view are pre-built. So they have a lot of the uh, files already in them. So, uh, or they have a lot of files already built into them. So we can go here, uh, where's js star just uh, services. Okay, let's go network and check it out real quick. All right, so we are going to filter this by .js. Let's go ahead and um, refresh this again. Oh, I should have cleared it. Hold on. All right, let's do that. Refresh it again. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and we are bringing in all of the JavaScript files from 4. So you got map here, 
we got scene view, and then we're also bringing in a lot of these other files that would normally be part of the built file that you get when you load that uh, init.js directly from the CDN. So you kind of lose that bit here. So you're bringing in a lot more files than you normally would have if you were just building a direct Forex app. But hey, if this is something you need, go ahead, man. It's all yours. All right, thank you.